All right, here we go. We're back into the action. Coffee is up. Let's go ahead and change it over to his screen. And you're up. Your turn. All right. If I cone with um, fire... Would I get that guy, these guys, those guys there? Uh, show me the text of the the spell so I can read how far and what's happening. Is this game half templates you can drop down? It was on my list today to get some, and I forgot to do it. Ah, uh, that's... It would be super handy. So 15-foot cone. I assume it's like a triangle, right? So yeah. it would be something like uh, just freehand. So, I mean, if you're firing, I could see it go like, let's see, 5, 10, 15. And then it would be 5, 10, 15. So it'd be more like that. Does that make sense? Right. So that only. Gets or you to could a... rotate it. Oh. I mean, yeah, I'll hold off on it. Then I'm just gonna uh, short sword, double short sword on the one to the southwest of me. Ah. Uh, okay. Make room for Greybeard, hopefully. All right, so this guy here? Yes. All right. Twenty-three and a thirteen. Uh, yeah, two hits. Ooh, sixteen total. Okay, so you put uh, two gashes into the vulture. Oh, let me switch. Yeah, that's right. There it goes. But uh, still seems to be functioning. Definitely hurt, though. Any movement or... Uh, I assume the second attack was your bonus? Yeah, that was my bonus. Nope, I'll be right there. Okay. Um, all right, so... That brings us up to our cultists. Mr. Amaranth is next. And let's switch over to Hyal. All right, so Amaranth, you are going to Okay, so, yeah, seems reasonable. He's going to cast Hold Person. Actually, he's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. And cast Hold Person on Coffee. So he chooses Coffee as his target. He must make a Wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. And his, uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. And his DC, his DC is a 15. Ooh, that's brutal. Oh! Oh, clutches it, uh. though. Clutches it. Uh, Take that off. Yeah, Take nice. Shake it off, shake it off. And then, so that's his action, his movement. Um, does not list any type of bonus action. So yeah, he just tells his uh, creatures to attack, and that is his turn. So now we are on to the cultists and the vultures. It's crazy how they're right together in the order here. So, now this doorway is gigantic. Um, in fact, it's probably 20, maybe even 30 feet tall. So the first thing that happens is some vultures are going to fly in. 
Um, so let's see. So he uses 30 feet to get there. And then from there, yep, can easily get inside 20 feet. So in those squares right there. Okay. So two of them fly in and then swoop down. I'm going to move these dead bodies out of the way for the moment just to get them out of the way. There's obviously bodies here on the ground death and dying and bleeding. Uh, this guy could make it to here. This one will swoop in and land here. Now that one uh, drops in Greybeard or Coffee can take a reaction attack if they want on this one. I'll save my reaction. Okay. Woohoo! Greybeard? There it is. Yeah, that'd be a hit. So a regular axe hit. That's more like it. All right, so that one takes a wound as it comes in close. And these other ones uh, begin to attack. So uh, the three vultures, uh, two vultures again on coffee. And they have pack tactics, which I missed last time. So they do have Master. advantage which cancels out your disadvantage. So just be straight up rolls. So here we go. So Beak and Talon from two, ta two uh, birds. A five is and a 21. 21, I will burn a reactionary shield. Okay, so show us that text just so people in the chat can also see what's happening there. Uh, force appears, protects until the start of the next turn. Yep, you have plus five. Okay. Um, and then another beak and talon. So 13, 12 would be a miss. Um, the cultist riding. Nope, he's not going to have an action there, but this, so he won't have an action, and we'll have a, oh, we have two more attacks after a move. So we have one more thing that moves. And uh, you feel a presence next to you, uh, Finn. All you feel is the whooshing of air. You're not sure what it is. And all of a sudden, two attacks try to buffet you. And that would be this guy. So first one's a 25 and the second one's a 23. Both hits. 13 bludgeoning damage from the first one and 9 from the second. And then there's a, all right, uh, but you don't see anything. Vulture on Greybeard. It has advantage against you. Oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. Wrong attack. I want the vulture attack. Are you guys seeing these? I gotta. Well, I don't know why they don't default these to. You can see them. I don't want to. There we go. So a beak and a talon with advantage due to pack tactics. So a 20 and a 24. Ouch. 
So six piercing and then 19 slashing from the talons. Mm, okay. 25, cut in half, 13. All right. All right. Um, Finn, you have a... He is not around any of his other birds. So the, the bird that landed next to you only has regular attack. He does not have advantage. So this will be a beak and a town. So a 16 and an 8. Misses. Misses. Uh, so your shield, you you feel the, the beak and the talons scrape across your shield, but you're able to hold him off with no damage. Uh, wings are fluttering. He's not quite on the ground. He's kind of floating just five feet up and trying to fight and bite you. That's what all of these are doing. They're not necessarily on the ground, but they're in hovering distance of you. Um, Ian, we have a vulture in the back that has one next to him, so it gets advantage on its attacks. So you see a beak and a talon try to slice into you. So we have a 10 and an 8. It's a 15 and a 10, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yep, 15 and a 10. The first one hits, the second one misses. All right, so a, a beak strikes out and for four piercing damage seems to get past your armor, but your as the talons try to scrape across you, your armor takes a little scratch into it, but it, it holds and allows you not to take any further damage. And then Ardreth takes a the same attack. So a 19 and an 11. Uh, he gets the same thing, the beak pierces him, but the talons seem to scrape off his armor and not do enough damage to penetrate, so he takes seven on his character sheet, which is around here somewhere in one of my million windows. There we go, current hit points. Uh, 20, there, okay. That is all of their turns. And we get to Finn. Finn is up. So something invisible hit me. Uh, yeah, from your left side. You, you believe there's something there, but you cannot see it. If you try to swing at it, you can try to make a swing at it, but it's at disadvantage because you cannot see it. Well, I guess I'm going to heal myself. Okay. So your action is to do a heal? I'll cast lay on hands on myself. Okay. Go ahead and throw that in. Uh, it's a roll, I believe, or is it? There's no spell. No, it's just points. Oh, okay. Are you using them all? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that, that's the spell where you can use them individually, right? Yes. All right. So just, and how many is it that you're using? Just so people that are watching know. 20. All right. Fire it off. And that's your action. So any bonus action or movement? Um, how big is the bird? Uh, giant size. Let's see if it is gives. It, is me it large a... or giant? Let's take a look. Uh. Oh, you know what? Here, let me... Nope, that's not what I want either. I believe in handouts, I can show you what it looks like. Although you can kind of see the te the token. You can see the guy riding on the token. So I'm going to say they're large. And they, hold, they occupy four squares, so they're large. I think I can attack something one class, one size larger than I am with that shield. Um, 
me see. Uh, oh yeah, here's here it is. I'm trying to find the feet real quick. Here's what they look like, so you guys can see. So they're they're pretty big. Uh, yeah, let's go into the compendium. What what's the what are you trying to do? Shield mastery. It's not in the online one. I'm looking through the book right now. It's shoving a creature. Yeah, one size larger than you. It is one size larger. Yeah, and it must be within your reach. Page one ninety five. It it's up to you, Dan. I if uh, if he's large, I'm gonna shield bash him. Okay. Uh, let's see. So they get to make a, just a dex roll? Or strength. Oh, he would have used strength, which is higher. Sorry. Thanks, Finn. Graybeard. Sorry, Finn. I, he still rolled under. I don't think you're going to be able to shove him anywhere, but you can hit him. Throw, I'm punching him in the throat, too, stupid bird. Sure. <laughs> But it doesn't do any damage, right? Nope. Just knocks him down to the ground. All right. We'll say he's landed on the ground. He's not flying. Prone. Oh, okay. We'll put, uh, let's see. Can I, why can't I click on that? That's why. So anybody within five feet gets advantage on the attack. Uh, all right, and that works on something bigger than you. One class size larger. One right. size larger. All right. Can't do it to a giant. A boot, <laughs> like that. And I believe Ardrith is up then? I tell Ardrith not to attack the one in front of me. Or behind me, I guess, technically now. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's surrounded by two. He's taking some damage. Uh, he pulls his long sword because he had his long bow out, realizing that's not going to work. Uh, so as a bonus action, he will use his last... Bonus action to give Bardic Inspiration to Finn. You didn't. You, oh, Ian used yours, but Greybeard didn't, right? Yep. Correct. Okay. Make sure you guys keep track of that because I'm already losing track of everything. Yeah, I have a. I have an actual six. Okay. Good. Um, and then. Ardrith is going to attack the one in front of him that hit him. I don't know if he would turn his back on that guy. So he's going to attack with his long sword, which I believe he has. And normally he'd be smarter as a player, but since I'm playing him, long sword attack. Uh, 12 will hit for three slashing on this vulture. So he struck, th he struck that one that I just pinged. So he used his bonus action, which was his last inspiration. Attacked, he's not going to move. Uh, he is done. So we move to Greybeard. Woohoo! Uh, the one I hit before. And. Karump! Yeah. Boy, chicken. So another big hit. Seems to be on its last legs, but is not dead. All right, so... Movement or bonus action? Well, uh, I, at this point, I might as well go all reckless um, because they have advantage on me anyway. 
currently, so I'm gonna recklessly and frenzy attack him one more time. Okay. And I will use my inspiration. <laughs> uh, 12 will hit. 15 will hit. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Crunch. Uh, yeah, so that's enough to finally put him down. So you get to describe that. It, you know, uh, I say uh, something like, soup's on, chicken for dinner, wonk. And it, it comes right up through his his skinny vulture neck and his, his head goes winging off over the edge of the cloud. All right, nicely done. Uh, any movement? No, I still got targets right here where I'm standing. Okay. Um, so that brings us to Ian. Is this creature considered a beast? Sure. I would think All it'd right. be considered... Yeah, it's considered a large beast. I... A large I'm beast. Gonna... Hopefully not completely waste this turn, though I assume I will. I'm going to use my Primeval Awareness um, ability, which gives me the innate ability to communicate with beasts, as they recognize me as a kindred spirit. And I'm going to use my action to attempt to um, pacify this beast and convince it not to attack us. The one right in front of you? Okay, give it a shot. Yeah. So what do I need a roll for that? I would assume I don't I don't know what to roll roll for that. Yeah, that's does, up to does you. It, say? it just says beast handling. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, that's a skill. Oh that's yeah. It's on your it soul. It's just Um it's animal handling. It's the closest thing I could guess. Hmm. Literally that's all the thing says. Straight out of the the thing. So would you say it's an animal handling or more of a? Oh, it says casting uh, time beast handling. That's not. That's don't don't pay attention to that. That's just me knowing what it is. That's me being silly. That's not an act. It's not an actual spell. It's sort of just my ranger ability. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Let me let it's me like read it in the compendium spell. and see what it says here. I don't know if it says it in the big compendium. Oh, is it, is it the Arcana one? Is that an Arcana change? Yeah, that's an Arcana change in Primal Evil Awareness. Do you have it? Hmm. I mean, that's the exact test from the from the thing. It's just copy pasted. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me what like difficulty or what. Well, I think that's just up to you. I mean, I could use a do a persuasion roll to try and persuade it. And actually, do you can animal take handling. any to persuade it to not. I prefer that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could use either one. I would. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing on this because they're not giving us any. I don't know. I, well, maybe we'll have to look it up later on. So, Let's say you have to roll a 13 or higher. That's going to be, I'm assuming it, its save would be like a wisdom. Sure. So anim, animal handling? So yeah, I'm thinking you maybe you need a 13 or higher. Nope. All right, so you give it a good shot. You, um, you make the sounds that you think would, um, that you've made to other bird-like creatures before, and it seemed to, to soothe them and calm them down even to the point where they might land on your hand or you might be able to approach them but you can tell as you're doing it for some reason this bird probably because it's a trained attack bird is not um not calm not listening or calming um down from your from your actions so good try we'll have to look that up just to make sure we're doing that right um after this we'll have to see but We'll keep going. So you still have bonus action and movement at that point, I believe. And that is my turn because I can't do anything else. Okay. 
All right. Um, Coffee, you are up. All right. A slash to the one in front of me. It's a 12 hit. Um, You get advantage? No. Oh, the second 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 hit. So the second hit would strike. Uh, Yeah, 12 will hit. So 11 piercing on that guy. Okay. Um, Do you get your bonus damage to the second strike? Yep, because of my uh, two-weapon fighting. Two-weapon fighting, okay. Um, And it's the one with the rider or not with the rider? Uh, Not with the rider, the one I attacked last. Okay, so that one, that's enough to... uh, Knock it down so you can go ahead and describe how that one crumbles. I slice off its right wing and it stumbles back off the cloud. All right. So let's just do this then. There we go. Uh, Movement. Uh, Let's see. Movement. No, I'll stay right here. Okay. Uh, oh my lord, I have two. I have three more birds back here. I didn't even know it. I was zoomed in too close to give the audience <laughs> <laughs> a view, and there was three vultures I didn't even see. All right. No, uh, it's totally fine, Lucian. Just you know, they're one guy can't. Them. Can't command nine vultures all by himself. He certainly can. Here comes wave two. Yeah, they wouldn't have any place to attack us from anyway, so <laughs> now they do. Yeah. All right, so let, yeah, let's move some of these guys out of the way so we're not confused. And we'll just say those guys take their place. They've been out of the fight this entire time. Uh, oh, we need to move this guy. I just moved. Where did he go? There we go. Let's get them out of the way so we can see what's going on. Uh, all right. So dropping into place, we'll say dropping into place, and this one is going to stay here. Amaranth is going to board that one. Uh, oh no! Wait, he'll wait till his turn. He's not doing that. So yeah, you still have movement, or you're done. I'm done. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, let's move back to this screen so you guys can see that. It's their turn. So Amaranth will use part of his movement to mount onto the vulture. And he's going to try to... I think he's going to try to hold person again. Um, and he really basically still sees coffee as his primary target. So he's going to go ahead and try one more time to hold coffee. Is he casting from a flapping bird? Damn. He's casting from a bird that's sitting on the cloud. All right, so... All right, so now you're held? Yes. And you'll be able to make another wisdom save on each of your turns. Uh, Does it say at the end of your turn or on the beginning of your turn? We'll say it's at the beginning of your turn. Um, But it's going to last for a minute, so we'll go ahead and add a... Uh, it says at the end of each of its turn. Okay. So let's add this in, and this is hold. So we'll say. So coffee, oh, hold. And it's currently going to be at 10, because it's a minute long, correct? Up to one minute. He is concentrating now, so he can't do 
anything else. Uh, he cast a spell. He used his movement, and that is his turn. All right, so that guy is now held. Um, does it say anything about if you take damage if it breaks it? I don't think so. Saving throw or be paralyzed. So you're paralyzed. Well, let's let's look that up because we haven't had that happen yet. So I think that's a combat condition. Let's find out what that does. Just for our viewers here. So we have blinded, charmed, not that. Definitely. You are fatigued. incapacitated, can't move or speak. Attack rolls have advantage. Any attack that hits you is a critical. If the attacker is within five feet, you automatically fail strength and deck saving throws. Ooh, thank God I have a uh, blur. Yeah, so that'll... Will that negate Cause it? They already have, yeah, because they already have advantage. You can't... Well, you can't have advantage okay. twice. Right, right. So you can't stack yeah. it. So they already negated your advantage anyways just from pack. So that really didn't do anything. Basically, it just makes it so you can't move. Would it break any concentration would be the next question. Hmm. Concentration is from taking an attack, uh, physical damage. Okay. But you are paralyzed. I wonder what... Uh... But it doesn't say you lose thing, concentration. Right? Does any of these say that? I physically can't move with paralyzation, but my mind is still... I just can't. So I know what's going on. I should be able to concentrate on a spell. I think, I incapa I think incapacitated is the... Oh, yeah. See, yeah, paralyzed, you get incapacitated and the other effects. But that just says incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions. I'd say hmm. it still holds concentration. Yeah, I'm not seeing I mean, anything. A mental effect. That's a mental thing for him anyway. Yeah. It's not as if there's anything physical involved with concentration. All right, we'll rule it that way. Just realize if, you know... That's how we'll rule it if you guys use it against somebody also, though, that they're going to be able to maintain. It's not going to stop a spellcaster's concentration on you if you guys use that on somebody. Yep. So we'll, we'll okay, that's how we'll rule it, because I don't see anything that would say otherwise. Okay. Um. So Blur can stay up at this point, but Bladesong would be done, because you can't actually move. Correct. Uh, you don't need to move to keep that. That's just a. Well, I think your 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 swords have to be able to move, right? Uh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, to me, that that would make sense that you physically are not moving at all, so you wouldn't have blade song. So while you can't move. Yeah, it doesn't kill it, but it you don't get the... Yeah, yeah. It, so once you can move again, yeah, you could start it back up. I, I could see that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Well, we can roll that. using those to block. All right, so we're learning some things here. We've got some new classes that we haven't tried out, and, and so we're just working through that for people that are watching. And uh, feel free to tell us in chat what you think, too. Um, but that's how we're going to rule it for now. Um, okay. So this vulture, seeing the effects of the hold person, and those effects are like there is a, like a purpley mist that surrounds you, and now you've stopped moving, and um, only maybe just your eyes kind of flicker around, and they recognize what's going on. So it's something they've done before. And what he's going to do is... Maneuver, I think. Because this one's prone. Wow, there's not really a lot of good space to go to. Uh, oh, yeah. You can drop right here. So he will fly over and drop on that spot to get a shot on Greybeard. So they're ganging up on Greybeard at this point. Uh, so three of it them. It happens. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so that guy was done. Let me move that. Cultists were up, which are the vultures and the cultists. The one cultist still riding. Um, all right. So let's do some attacks here. Vultures. So these are pack tactics on Greybeard. So here comes Beak. And Talon. Uh, two big hits. Yeah. Uh, so uh, 13 and an 8. As a Beak slices in, bites a chunk out of you because you've gone reckless. You've gone, you kind of... With your last attack, you put yourself in a bad position, and they've kind of capitalized on that, this first one. So it's 13 and 8, so that would be, what, 21? Yep. Okay. okay. Halved. So. Oh, 11. Here comes the next one, a 23 and a 15. Uh, uh, both hit. Yep. Armor class 14. Okay. Um, so 7 and 11, so that's 18, so just 9. <laughs> All right. They are whittling you down. Yep. No, looking good for old GB. Under right. half. And, uh... The last vulture is going to attack coffee. So a 22 and a 17. I'm pretty sure the four hits, but what, what's your armor class without the blade song? But you still get blur. Yeah, so it's a 17 and a 19, not a 22. Sorry, 17 and a 19. And you're muted if you're talking. Or we lost you. Coffee! <laughs> it hit him so hard, coffee's dead in real life. No! No! <laughs> Is he gone? We'll run out of beverages before the end of this campaign. <laughs> I still see him in chat. Is he typing anywhere? Sorry, I glitched out. What's happening? No problem. Uh, you have a beak and a talon slice at you, and it would be a 19 and a 17. But I was wondering, what is no, your AC hit. without blade song? Uh, 16. Okay, so that would be a 10. Four piercing, six slashing. Got it. All right. Uh, we have a prone vulture next to Finn who's going to try to get up. So he uses uh, half his movement to get up. Not going to move. He's going to sit on the ground and he's going to try to bite Finn. Uh, but we'll say he's getting up from the ground, so he's not going to be able to get his talent attack. So we'll just get one attack on Finn from that guy. But it will be an advantage because he's within five feet of one of his other guys. So this is an advantage attack, but only one. So a 14. Would that hit? Miss. So a beak slides off your shield, which is um, keeping you sound. All right. The entity of some sort that's sitting next to you, you can feel its pres presence, but you still can't quite see it, uh, has two attacks on you at advantage. Uh, 12 would be a miss, and 11, two, um, again, slamming, pressurized, almost like a uh, compressed air hits, but doesn't actually go through your armor. Your armor... Uh, takes the impact on all of it, and your helmet helps you from taking any of the damage. So it misses. All right, Vulture on Ian. Here we go. Beak and a Talon. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put that up. Uh, it has advantage, so a 17 and a 19. Those both hit me. 
That'll be 14 points. One for piercing, five for slashing. So 14 total. And then Ardreth has the same thing. And yeah, 222. So that's going to be enough to hit. And he's going to take 17. If I can find his character sheet again. All right, uh, Finn is up. All right, um, describe to me how he's mounted on that bird. Is am I am I going to be able to reach him? Yeah, if you want to hit the cultist, you can you can reach him, or you can hit the bird. Either one. All right. Will I be able to hit him with my shield? Let me ask you that. The the rider. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. It's within five feet. Um, yeah, you can attempt to try to knock him off of the bird. That's what I'm doing. I don't know where he'll land. He'll probably land in this free square if you can do it. Yeah. Which free square? Yeah, I can right. <laughs> so give us a the roll. One, and the one see. between Greybeard and myself? Yep, that's that's the one he'll fall to. Uh, this guy's no longer prone while you're doing that. All right, that is my bonus action. Um, so a nine. Uh, you have your bardic. You could roll a d6. Roll at least a three or higher to do it. Uh, yeah, five plus a nine of 14 is just enough to knock him from the bird. So we'll and put him I here. will hit him very hard. All right, so he falls to the ground. Uh, we'll give him a, a point of damage for falling to the ground. And go ahead and make a... He's prone on the ground, so you get advantage against him. And we'll take this off because you no longer have Bardic Inspiration. Good. Oh, yeah. Um, describe how you destroy this cultist who's fallen Ooh. to the ground. Um, as he drops, he will just land prone, and I will drive the back spike of that Warhammer right through his chest. Nice. Let's zoom in for our viewers. So the cultist is now down. And we probably don't need this stuff. Okay, so he is dead. Any other actions? Uh, no, that's my action plus my bonus. So I'm pretty much uh, going to be doing nothing but swinging and bashing there. Okay, uh, Ardreth is up. So Ardreth is going to use his healing spell... He knows we're in dire straits, or at least it seems dire to him. Uh, so he's going to use Healing Word. So creature of your choice, you can see within range gains equal to 1d4 plus his spell casting. Or wait, I'm sorry, he's not going to use Healing Wound. He's going to use Cure Wounds. That makes much more sense. 1d8 plus spell casting, which is plus 3. So it's 1d8 plus 3. Uh, Greybeard, you get seven hit points back. <laughs> uh, thanks. Um, he's then he's used his bardic inspirations. He's tried to heal. He has no other. Wait, does he have any? Oh no, he has a reaction though. He will save. I believe that's a reaction. Yeah, that one is. Okay. Um, he's going to save that. That is 
Ardreth's turn. He's not going to move. Greybeard's up. Right. Uh, any one of these birds in front of What's that? You cut out. Oh. Any one of these birds in front of me wounded? No, they are fresh. Doe. Mm. Uh, the one behind you is severely wounded. Oh, but you're not within five feet. So this one has taken damage up here. All right, I'll attack this one. Okay. Yes. Strike your. You get two strikes, right? Because you've been doing. Yep, frenzy. Yeah, so definitely a 12 monster gash into it. 16's a hit. Oh, describe how you kill it. Whoa. First hit, like, takes a wing off, and the second hit <laughs> takes the other wing off, and I say, well, that's just getting them ready for the oven, boys. All right. Nicely done. Um, movement, it would be the only thing you have left. Now, uh, anyway, I go, I disengage and get clawed in the back. That's okay. not my way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ian is up. What are concentration checks? Well, what do I have to roll for that? Constitution. Uh, yeah, con con check. And it has to be above what I was hit. I by? think I think you make a Constitution saving throw. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So you just throw. roll your one. You have something on your character sheet named Concentration or Constitution save. save. Yeah. Should just. And roll. what do I have to roll above? Ten or what higher. What they attack. Ten or higher. Yep. Sweet. I keep whole, whole forgetting to do that. <laughs> yeah, I okay. keep forgetting to do it. I was hit three times. No I problem. move as my bonus action. I move my hunter's mark from this guy. Yeah. To, are any of these guys injured? Uh, injury. Let's see. Below hit max, basically. <laughs> that one. That one. Those two that I pinged have wounds right. in them from your party. All right. This one's severely I... wounded. So they're going to take care of that one. So I attack this one up here. I move my Hunter's Mark to him. Okay. And then I attack him. So right. that is uh, Hunter's Mark Longbow. Colossal Slayer. Which one is that one? Here we go. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ me. Oh, fuck. And that's my move. Yeah. So it's flapping around. It's it's kind of juking and jiving. You were You were really trying to aim for the head. Because you were thinking, I need to kill this. Um, I need to get these birds out of here. But since you were aiming for such a small target, your arrow flies off. And you realize, maybe I should have aimed for the bigger body center mass. But as the arrow flies into the room, you think, we'll see what happens. And it misses the vulture. Um, all right. So that brings us to coffee. Coffee. Oh, we're at the top of our turn. Um, let's go ahead and take our last five-minute break. Um, we're at the top of the hour, so let's go ahead and come back. This is a... You guys started out this battle strong, and then they came back. It's kind of seesawed, and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. I wouldn't leave. I would definitely stay and see what happens in this battle. We'll be back in just about five minutes. Let me move you to the character screen for just a second. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 